Hey guys, the Explorer 4 here, the Horror Boy. Welcome back to some more reviews. And today we're going to be getting to another Lucio Fulci film. I have been watching a ton of Lucio Fulci and Dario Argento. Just really been hooked on their films, really enjoy their styles. Um, and today, of course, we'll be getting to the Lucio Fulci film Cat and the Brain. Wow, look at that cover, that's so cool. It's one of my favorite posters right there. They have a cool cover. Really great artwork. I mean, this is just amazing right here. This is a Grindhouse releasing DVD. Put a lot of detail and care into this DVD. There's tons of features, commentaries, interviews, uh, trailers, still galleries. Um, just tons of stuff. Remastered sound and picture. I mean... What more can you ask for from a DVD? Just such a great addition. Now, talk about this movie. Uh, the first word that comes to mind is, holy shit. Like, after I was done watching this movie, I was literally like, holy shit. But, um, <laughs> Cat in the Brain came out in 1990. It's a 5.7 on IMDb, and of course, written by Lucio Fulci. Um, I know it's kind of a, maybe like a loose remake, either a remake or a loose remake of an older film that kind of did the same thing, where it's about director and, you know, his movies and putting the movies and the story, and I know it was kind of inspired, or maybe it was a remake of that. I don't remember what the film's called, but it was uh, kind of based on that. And I know this is one of Lucio Fulci's last films, because he did this, then he did about three other theatrical films. He did Dominia, Voices from Beyond, and Door to Silence, which both came out the same year. Then he did a Hansel and Gretel TV movie. So yeah, this is one of his last films, and man, this was a wild ride. This was intense and crazy. And my review probably isn't going to serve the film justice because, man, this movie is just one of those films that it's going to be hard to talk about because, I mean, how do you talk about the story? Like, how do you talk about what happens in this film? If you have not seen Cat in the Brain, you need to see Cat in the Brain. I don't care, like, how you guys see it, man. You need to see Cat in the Brain, preferably this DVD. This DVD, the grind release releasing very cheap. I got it for probably five bucks, so you know you can find it very, very cheap. Has great picture, great sound, and it's loaded with features. Uh, <coughs> preferably that, but if you can find a way to watch this movie, I recommend watching *Cat in the Brain*. This is just an experience of a film. That, like I said, it, it's a movie that's going to be hard to review because, I mean, really, how do I talk about what happens in this movie? I mean, I'm going to try my best to. It's going to sound crazy, it's going to sound nuts, but hey, it's kind of in the brain. But uh, basically, the story is you have Lucio Fulci playing himself. He is the star of this movie, and he is making a new film, and his mind begins kind of just mixing reality and film. And uh, as he says in the movie, he feels, like he feels like he has a cat in his brain. And basically what that means is he's kind of going crazy. Not totally loco, not totally insane, but the boundaries within his head between his films and reality are starting to break down. And you even have an image at the beginning of the movie of a cat inside of a brain digging around and eating the brain and just one of the most disturbing... I don't know why it was so disturbing. It was just so shocking to see that scene. But the movie just has so much going on. I mean, you have that plot line, so it's a really psychological film. Whereas, you know, he'll look and see somebody chopping wood, and it reminds him of the cha this like chainsaw scene from one of his movies. Or he'll see somebody... He'll see like red paint, and it reminds him of the, of the blood they use in his movie, which was red paint. Um, he orders food, and it reminds him of like a meat grinder from a film, where he would grind. This person, would, this character, would grind up meat and stuff like that. Um, just stuff like that. So basically, his mind is starting to freak out. He goes to a psychiatrist, and this psychiatrist starts killing people. 
after he watches some of Lucio Fulci's films. He goes crazy and starts killing people. And you have a lot going on in this movie. I mean, you have some crazy ass fucking scenes of nudity. There, this is just an hour and thirty three minutes of batshit insanity, crazy scenes, gore, nudity galore, just insane scenes. I mean, scenes of just carnage. Literally, one of the goriest movies I've probably ever seen. And it was just like, man, I, I've never seen a movie that really did do this. Like, it was just scene after scene after scene of gore and gore. It was just crazy. So it is a giallo film as well. And you also have just these wacky ideas. Like, you have the psychiatrist just running around killing people and this crazy look on his face and... I mean, you have so many death scenes, like decapitations, you've got people getting smashed through a window, pulled back, they have glass in their face, people getting hit in the face multiple times, and you're just seeing it slowly get caved in. Um, you, you you see a, a Nazi orgy in this movie, <laughs> which is fucking crazy, but it's it's not, it's from a, a movie that Lucio Fulci's character is making within this movie. Um, so you see that, uh, you see, like I said, cats digging in brains, you have Lucio Fulci kind of losing his mind, you got a psychiatrist running around killing people, you got decapitations, a, a, a scene where like a, a trunk gets shut on this person's head and they come back up and there's blood everywhere, um, you have a scene, which is probably the most shocking scene in the movie, where this little kid rides a bicycle and then this chainsaw comes out of nowhere and decapitates the kid. And it's just like, holy shit. It's crazy, man. Um, you have It's just a lot of gore, a lot of insanity. Uh, and, I mean, I just don't know. I mean, it's just, it's one of those movies that I can really get into. It's, it's just crazy. It's, it's crazy, it's sometimes ridiculous, and some of the ideas, it is just so out there and bonkers that you just can't help but love this movie. Um, and it, it really is an experience. I mean, there's plenty of people who have gotten inspired from this movie over the years. Um, I was reading the booklet in there and stuff like Eli Roth, the uh, writer of A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 5, and Other Phase, Texture Massacre Part 3. I believe he got inspired by this movie for a little bit, uh, or by, like, staying from this movie. You know, Eli Roth got some inspiration from this movie. So, <laughs> it was cool seeing all those people really enjoy these, and this, enjoy this movie, and, you know, uh, talk about it in the booklet that comes with the DVD. But yeah, dude, it is just lots of gore, lots of craziness. You need to see it if you haven't, and if you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It is bonkers. It is just crazy. Um, but yeah, as far as the film is made, I mean, it's it's one of those movies, really, like, I guess, technically, you look at it, there's not really any fancy camera angles, there's not really any fancy editing. The acting, I can't say it's really Oscar-worthy, although I wasn't really expecting Oscar-worthy acting. Um... I will say this, it is one of those movies that kind of dragged for me. Like, towards the end, it really dragged. The third act really didn't have a lot of momentum to it, so I will say that. Uh, some of the effects look like mannequins and dummies and stuff, but I still love the effects. I still think they look great most of the time, and you have just crazy scenes in this movie. Just scene after scene after scene of gore. and. An awesome thing about this movie is that you do have a lot of nudity in this movie for a lot of beautiful women. Lots of nudity in this movie. Like, a crazy amount of nudity in this film. Um, you have just, like, random-ass scenes. Like, you have this guy who has this, girl, this, this wife who is, like, an opera singer, and she sings opera in her sleep, and it's just like, what? Um, or this guy kind of making, like... I guess fillets of human flesh and cook them up like they're steaks and eating them. It's like what the? 
It is just so out there, man. Such a, a wild movie. But, I mean, I guess as far as the good things go, it's got great gore. It's got a lot of nudity. It's crazy. It's bonkers. It's insane. And I love it for that. It has a great soundtrack. I will say that. Uh, I believe... Oh, man, I forgot his name. Who did the score? He did the score for, like, other Ucho Fochi films as well. But I thought he did a great job. The music just sounded uh, really cool. Fabio Frizzi, um, who I believe scored some of the other Lucio Fochi films uh, that he did. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. He scored a couple other... Lucio Fulci movies as well. Great score. Wonderful music. Just a really good kind of poppy, disco kind of sound to it. And it really had a great soundtrack. Um, it's just an experience, man. And I really like the atmosphere at night. Like, There's not a lot of night sequences, which I really wish. I guess I could, I could also say that. I really wish there was more night scenes. A lot of this movie takes place during the day. But when they shoot the night sequences, the very few that they have, actually have a great atmosphere of the mist and the darkness. So I was surprised they didn't have more uh, night sequences in this movie. They look, they look great. Um, I wanted to say something else too, but I forgot it. Uh, it's a good gore, good poster, good direction. Uh, I, I just guess I could just say it's just a crazy fun experience. And... The movie has a wonderful last shot that really, it was really cool to see. And I think if you're a fan of Lucio Fulci and you haven't seen this yet, when you see that ending, you'll you'll kind of know what I'm, what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just, just something about this last shot that kind of was a beautiful moment in this crazy movie. It was really a beautiful moment. And I love the music in the scene. The movie's music towards the end of the credits or you know music when the end credits hit is just really cool um you have lucio Fulci shooting this last scene for his movie where he's kind of putting like body parts and his fish hooks on this boat and there's like a smoking hot chick there and you know i was thinking like oh my god lucio Fulci, this hot chick on this boat you know <laughs> it's such a like such a crazy scene but you know you think he killed her and put the body parts in these fish hooks, but it was actually a scene for a movie. He was filming it in this movie. Um, and the last shot is him wrapping up the movie and being done, and he's gonna go off on a vacation with his hot chick on his boat, and you see Lucio Fulci kind of waving by, just to something about the way it was done, where it's the boat sailing out, him waving by, beautiful music, it's like shot early in the morning so it looks great great looking shot and it's kind of like it's kind of like you're you just it's that swan song you know it's Lucio Fulci saying farewell you know just to me it's what I got from that ending and it was just and I know this wasn't his technically speaking this isn't his last movie but this is one of his last films and it was so cool seeing that shot this is a beautiful shot beautiful music it's like a swan song moment you know, it's like a it's like a farewell moment. You're seeing Lucio Fulci go off on the boat, and yeah, we definitely had a legend pass away when Lucio Fulci passed away. I think he's a legendary director, really big fan of his work, and that last shot was just amazing. But yeah, recipes Lucio Fulci, great filmmaker. It's been awesome covering his movies. I have a couple other films I want to review as well. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep doing these uh, Lucio Fulci reviews. But I really enjoy his movies, so I'll keep watching them. But uh, it's been fun watching this movie. It was one hell of a time. This was a fun movie to talk about. Um, I'm glad I got to review it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching my review on Cat and the Brain. Hope you all enjoyed the review. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Have a good night. And uh, The Explorer of Horror is out. Thanks for watching my review on Cat and the Brain. I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.